on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, wrap the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Anything? Oh, 
Clem, you've got the harmony. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! 
We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything about... No, I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides... Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. Where's everyone else? We were hoping you would know. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. No way we can stay here long term. I told you. That's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I hate to say it, but Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh... Is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. Just let me talk to him first. It's all right, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <gasps> <sighs> It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. We're gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. I'm just worried about you. You hear that, babe? Clementine says she's worried about me. <laughs> I'm sorry that Sarita dying has got your little head all worried. Why are you acting this way? Take one wild guess, Clementine. I tried to save look her. Look at her. I said, look at her. She is going to die. Because of you. Uh, 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 uh. You think? 
think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Now for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still, I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut. 
on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Hold on to them. Emma's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. I'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> you can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. He's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. It's done. 
if it comes to it. If Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. They don't sound too good. The clock is ticking. How do we find them? Start by getting a better look. What can I do, Sarah? How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Just listen to me. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Ow, what the fuck? Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Tara, I'm not... Alright, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Not like this. You can't do this! Ah! It's gonna take some we work to get over there. There's too many! We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. No, Maybe we can get them to move. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Did anything. Nice trick, huh? What can I do, Sarah? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. No. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. Sarah, what the hell? What do you think of that? Let's make some noise. Right. What's going to grab their attention? Sarah, listen! I got you covered. Sarah, I'm not... Good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Damn it, don't do this. Let's find a way to keep it on. We're gonna get up and go. Ow, what the fuck? What are you thinking? We lean him on the horn. It'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Like uh, Give me a hand. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? It's 
working. Why are you hitting like this? Come on. We can't stay here. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Block this! Hurry! Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. I heard y'all banging through the door. Luke, where's Sarah? I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. that They're okay. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. Shit. Come on. We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't, we can't, we can't stay here. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then, while well, she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? It's me. Hi. You helped me when we first met. Now I want to help you. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke, and Jane, and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time! Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? 
my ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. On three. One, two, three! Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go, go! Keep pushing! Go! We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her! Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Look, I know what you're trying to do, but it's not going to work. Save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! Oh, move! <laughs> Clementine! Grab her! <sighs> we gotta go. Come on! Uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Please, Sarah. You've got to start trying, or you're not going to be okay. People won't want to help you if you aren't trying. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem... I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she... gave up.
I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? How could you leave your sister? I don't... I don't know. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. Kenny, could you please come out? What the hell's the point? She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death? Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke. 
woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Kenny, you're not... you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny. You, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. I want to check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting to... They were going to leave me, weren't they? I don't know. How come you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sarah, your dad, you know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really use a hand scout for supplies. 
I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. Oh, hey. Hey. What are you doing? Getting lost in thought. Not the safest habit to have these days. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Did you find anything out here? Huh? Oh, uh, not yet. I hadn't really started looking until you showed up. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Who are you? 
I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns! I s Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please! If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are Vuri! Hey! We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must... You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? I'm worried. He might be dangerous. Well? Glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe. Nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. 
but I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. Are you any better? Is anyone? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I didn't mean... I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's, in the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever gonna do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. 
It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like 10 more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Any luck? No. Not so much, unless you want some broken glass. Over here. Water, bottled and clean, that's just what we need. It's locked. You wanna kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. Are you sure you can't get it open? Okay, no, that's all right. Maybe I can just reach through to the lock. Body! Jesus Christ! Something got Pull me! Pull back before it bites Help you! Help me, please! Come in! Hold on! That happened. You okay, Bonnie? It's just a bump. I'm gonna be all right. Christ, that would have been a stupid way to die. I should have tried to crawl through. I might have spotted him better. It's all right. I, I shouldn't have asked anyway. Let me see your arm. No, I... I didn't get bit, just old scars. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. <laughs> hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just... That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. 
I just walked on in like I'd owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! Oh! Oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. No! No! Shit! Shit! Oh, God! Breathe no! like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Stop! Stop! Oh. Clem! Clementine! Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? The hell's Luke? Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny? We can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God. There's so many. Mike, get Sarah. On it. About as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what. Clementine! G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um... What's going on? Well, uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny! 
What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. Well, what do I do? Whatever you can, Claire. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. Shit! Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! Find something to block this gate! Help us! We could block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming! Together! Ready? Oh, 
Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets her beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and... watch it happen to you two. You know the score. But... I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Keep it. I, uh, I gotta go. Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... 
Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Honey, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. Now what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex? It's gonna be all right. You all right? She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. Uh, uh, oh. oh, here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh. He's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Don't get all bent into a pretzel. I was just trying to help. People are too damn sensitive sometimes. Hello? 
What is this? Меня слышно? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. <sighs> All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh things for... bandages. I need bandages. Are you... hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть... We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane, where's the other woman? I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? I don't know. I don't know where she is. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, опусти оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Бурико, отойди. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking, don't move. I said don't move. Ты хочешь умереть? Сви меня. Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужчина? Бурико, бурико, остановись. Опусти оружие. Тебе не зачем это делать. Не стреляйте. Я не хочу умирать. Don't make me do it. Look at me.